the My Deal Stash unboxing. Today we'll be unboxing a three shelf bookcase by Room Essentials. It's a Target brand. Before we get started though, we're going to need a few tools. A Phillips head screwdriver, a hammer, a straight edge screwdriver, which I don't know exactly what you need that for. I don't think I used one. And uh, some scissors to get the box open. You could probably open the box by hand, but I found that scissors made it a lot easier. Once we have the box open, we gotta check the parts. Um, there's nothing worse than trying to build something if you are missing or have damaged parts. So make sure you have all the parts and the hardware before we begin. All right, step one, we need to attach panels A, B, and C together. We will do this with a Phillips head screwdriver and the eight black one 15 16th of an inch flat head screws. Once again, those are eight black one inch and 15 16th of an inch screws, so almost two inches. So just choose a panel, uh, use A and C or B and C to get started. Make sure you have the panels attached properly. You'll see at first I started to do it wrong, but I, I figured it out pretty quickly that uh, I have the panel backwards. Um, panel A should actually have the holes on the inside of um, panel C, which just means like you got to have your pilot holes that are on the sides of panels A and B need to be facing each other. If you have them facing outward, you're not going to be able to mount your shelves later on in step three. Now you got to line up the panels so you can screw them together. I like to screw all the panels almost all the way together. And then once I have the the screws about 90% screwed in, I screw them all on together one more time to, to tighten them up because I want to make sure all my panels are, are lined up properly before I screw them in all the way. Because if I mess something up, I don't want to have to like undo it all the way. I'd rather just undo the screw part, you know, rather like not have to take the screw all the way out again. So if I just do it 90%, you know, it leaves a little extra just in case I need to redo something. But um, after checking um, both sides, it looked good, so I screwed them all the way in. All right, step two. We need to take um, panel D, which is the, the trifold panel, which is the backing to this, to this whole uh, bookcase. This part was kind of tough because this panel at first, I thought it, it wasn't um, completely correct. I thought maybe it was cut wrong because it wasn't lining up perfectly. But after looking at it a couple more times, I think it's just because of the folds at the two at the one third mark and the two third marks. You'll see it on on the panel itself. You'll see how it's kind of like a trifold because they needed to fold it up like this, I guess, to get it in the box. I looked at it a couple times. I tried my best, and then I hammered the panel in. It wasn't perfect though, but I got as close as I could. It just didn't line up perfectly. I mean, maybe my screws on step one were slightly off, maybe. But um, I got it so once you set this thing up, you won't be able to tell the difference without actually putting it down on the ground like this and like actually feeling your hands against, against the sides. I didn't use all the nails either. You could use all the nails to make the, the, book, the bookcase um, more sturdy. Um, I found it that I, I just wanted to use some of the nails. I mean, just in case for some reason if I need to pull this apart. It'd be really hard to pull it apart now once your nails are uh, nailed all the way down. Um, but just in case I needed to take it apart later, I'd have less nails I'd have to pull out. Anyway, there it is. Uh, we have uh, steps one and two complete now. Now all we have to do is uh, step three. Step three is fun. Um, we're going to take some metal pins, some rubber sleeves, and then some uh, screw covers to complete this out. The rubber sleeves are used to go over the metal pins and then into the sides of panels A and B to, to be used as the bookshelf supports. Um, 
these are a little different than other um, bookcases I've worked with. Uh, a lot of times um, the bookshelf itself will have some pilot holes in it where you can actually sit um, the shelf down in the in the metal pin. Whereas this one, it actually uses the rubber sleeves over the metal pins, and then you take the the bookshelf itself and just sit it right on top of it. It actually doesn't go into anything. It does like the the metal pins themselves do go into the sides of panels A and B, but the metal pins don't go into um, bookshelf uh, part E, which is the actual shelf itself. It just sits on top of it. You'll see me um, putting the pins and sleeves together. It's important to put these sleeves on the pins because I've noticed that without the sleeves, the bookshelf like will slide right out. And it's much more prone to falling out of the, the bookcase. And you don't want that. You want your shelves to be a, like a, at least a little bit more sturdy. The sides of the bookshelf, panels A and B, do help to hold in um, pan the bookshelf panels E, the actual sh shelves themselves, just by the friction of the sides. But you need a little more than that. So it helps to have the rubber sleeves that are on the metal pins. I'm going to finish off these sleeves and pins right now. And then... Um, Put the bookshelf into the bookcase. Make sure you have the black uh, finished part on the the outside so you can see it. The other side's unfinished. It'd look really goofy if you put the shelf in backwards. Slide this guy in here sits right on top of the rubber sleeves that are hooked into the metal pins that are hooked into panels A and B. All right, we just need to finish out the last panel. We just do the same thing over again. Take the rubber sleeves, put them in the metal pins, put the metal pins into panels A and B, and then the shelf in there on top of them. All right, we're almost done with step three. Step three, all we have to do now is put the, the screw covers over the screw holes that are on the outsides of panels A and B to give our product a nice, um, clean look. They didn't have to give us these, but it, it does make the product look more finished with having covers over the screw holes. So you can, you can pressure fit them in. You can use a hammer if you want. I had to like recheck a couple of my screws because they weren't completely flush. So I actually screwed them in a little bit tighter so I could put the the pit, put the um sorry the put the screw covers back in. So there we have it, the finished product. There the we have our finished three shelf bookcase. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you at another My Ideal Stash unboxing sometime soon. My Deal Stash.